Here in France, the Elysee Palace held a ceremony to honor France's Olympic medal winners. The athletes were decorated and soundly praised, although President Emmanuel Macron did say that overall the results were not exactly at the level France was aiming for. French athletes brought home a total of 33 medals, putting the country in eighth place on the 2020 medal table. Next stop, France, of course, for the Olympics in 2024, with lots of work to do beforehand. Uh, I'm joined now by our reporter, Clovis Caselli, who was at that medal ceremony. Clovis, um, many of these athletes live abroad now. How symbolic was it for them to be invited to the Elysee Palace? Hugely symbolic. Imagine over 150 uh, medalists who triumphed in Tokyo 2020 in the Olympics, but also in the Paralympics, and now invited by the French president, as you said, to be decorated with some of the highest distinctions. Uh, France has to give out the Legion of Honor, the National Order of Merit. Uh, a lot of smiles in the uh, Cour de l'Elysée, in the courtyard of the Elysée Presidential Palace, also because these athletes could come with their families. So you can imagine it was an emotional moment. We got to talk to a lot of these athletes that we'd met in uh, Tokyo 2020. Uh, uh, those were a few weeks, that was a few weeks ago. And uh, notably met um, uh, Nicolas Batum and Rudy Gobert, the two huge NBA stars. Uh, Nicolas Batum, for instance, uh, who told us that, yes, he spends a lot of time in the US, but he, his roots are here in France. Take a listen to Nicolas Batum, the NBA superstar. This is home. We're in France. Our family lives here. This is where it started for us, where our roots lie. It's always great for us to return home. To be invited to the Elysee Palace by the French president is an honor for us. Clovis, another athlete that you met was Romain Cannon, who I know very little about. Uh, tell us more about his story. I'll tell you all about him, Alison. <laughs> Romain Cannon was the surprise a winner in fencing. He won gold. Actually, it was the first gold medal for France, so hugely symbolic there. And also because this is a man who never was supposed to take part in these uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics. Furthermore, he has spent a lot of time in the US. That's where he lives. I believe his parents run a bakery in New York. And for many years, he wanted to compete for the United States. He thought that uh, actually competing for the United States in fencing would probably be easier than uh, being picked for the French national squad because France has a tradition of uh, very good results in uh, fencing. It's quite a, an important sport here uh, in France, a historic sport at least, uh, fencing. So Romain Cannon wanted to compete for the United States. He was not picked by the Americans. Therefore, he tried his luck with the French he was a last-minute draft, if we, if I may, uh, for the French. He took part in the Tokyo 2020 Olympics and simply won gold. We'd interviewed him in Tokyo. He was delighted, slightly surprised. His life has truly changed now. Uh, he's giving interviews around the world. He's been interviewed by uh, all kinds of uh, media outlets. Let's take a listen to Romain Cannon in English, of course, given that he's spent most of his life in the U.S. Meeting the president, it's, uh, it's, uh, of course, it's an honor. Uh, when my parents uh, learned that they could come too, it's also uh, amazing for them because they're, 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 really, uh, they're really excited to, to be here. Uh, I just came back from practice, so I'm trying to actually realize I'm, uh, I'm at the Elysee. How has life changed for you since winning this beautiful gold medal? Uh, it's, the world has been going upside down, so still training, but uh, at the same time, uh, doing a lot more interviews, uh, meeting the president, for example. That's something uh, unusual, I would say, that, that you don't do every day. And uh, I, I just, I, I can't wait to, to keep going for Paris 2024, 20, sorry. The U.S. really missed out on that one. Uh, what about, what's next, Clovis? 2024 Paris on everybody's minds, I imagine? Absolutely. And those were the words of President Macron as he was decorating all uh, these athletes. Athletes slightly out of their zone of comfort, uh, they were truly uh, pleased, honoured to be invited at the uh, Elysee Palace, but clearly a bit daunting, especially when the president tells you, uh, you've done well at the uh, Tokyo 2020 Olympics, you, but you need to perform even uh, better at the uh, Paris 2024, because, of course, the French capital will be hosting the next Olympics and uh, Paralympics. He wants more medals. Uh, a word also on this tradition. It might seem a bit weird for our viewers to see 
uh, the French president giving away, uh, giving out these huge awards. Uh, these are not men who took part in wars, uh, who were in the trenches, uh, but they did perform uh, for France extremely well in their respective uh, sports. They defended the French colours, and that's why they are getting these um, medals, such as the uh, Legion of Honour. Uh, in other words, uh, France gave out around 9 million euros uh, of uh, prize money, if you will, to these athletes. They had only uh, budgeted for 7 to 10 million euros. So M Emmanuel Macron saying you need to perform even better at Paris 2024. Well, in that case, you need to uh, uh, get increase the budget and... Uh, get a bit more money for the athletes because it's extremely important, especially for the minor sports. The sports that you see on television only every four years uh, for the Olympics. Anyway, all eyes on Paris 2024. Uh, the French state, of course, wants more medals to shine abroad. Hearing you talk about it, Clovis, it does really, it gets me fired up for those 2024 <laughs> Olympics. Uh, Clovis Caselli, thank you very much.